Hey guys, redoing uh, my Chinook video. I uh, have decided to redo the video. I've had a little bit more experience riding the board. Uh, yesterday, uh, me and some friends went out to skate, find some roads, and we decided to compare my Chinook to my friend's Evo. Exact same setup, 44 cows uh, with 85A Venom uh, barrels. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's just more the degree of the truck, but uh, his Evo wasn't exactly good at coming around the corners as much as mine was. A little, mine was a little bit more uh, uh, nimble through the corners and a little bit more grippy, I would think. Uh, I personally love the board. Uh, thrashed it, thrashed it around a little bit. Uh, I have noticed every time I take a step on the board, there is a bit of flex, but it's not noticeable unless you're actually looking at the board. Um, it's not so much flex that it's you know terrible for downhill. I mean, it's uh, it's it's fine. I think it's more of a dampening flex to absorb bumps in the road and stuff, and that along with uh, some super high, super low duro wheels uh, would make the ride super smooth. I'm running uh, 85A uh, Venom barrels in the front, and then I'm running an 85A Eliminator board side and an 85A barrel road side in the back. And I, I love this setup. I keep my front tru front truck nice and loose and my back truck fairly tight. It's stable. It's fun. Uh, sliding out on it, you can drift real easy. Uh, toe side pre-drifts. Uh, nothing. They're so easy. Uh, the rails are probably one of my favorite parts of the board. Um, they're super, super, super sharp. So your feet don't really slip around during tow side pre-drifts and whatnot. Um, the W concave in the back, I love this W. I usually, in my tuck, my front foot's about at a 45 degree angle. My flat foot is sit or my back foot is sitting leaned up against the drop with my toes into the, the beginning of the W. Uh, no slipping around or anything. Um, uh, honestly, compared to the Evo, this thing just kicks butt. Um, with the 44 cals, 50, I'm running a 54 degree wedge in the front, and a, I, it would be a 34 degree uh, D wedge in the back. It's perfect. I mean, it's it's just so money. It's great. Uh, I don't think I would ride any other board for downhill. Um, it's not exactly the greatest free rider, considering once you get at 180 around, you can't exactly turn back. But that's not what it's made for anyway. It's fun to push on, too. Uh, I made a couple trips from here to the gas station up the road, just picked up some uh, beef jerky one day perfectly fine you don't get tired or anything it's much lighter than the Evo um, I don't know why it is but this is act it this actually has more plies than my gyro and it's and it's lighter I'm not sure if it's because my indies uh, my surf rods indies on my gyro are heavier than the calibers but uh, this is significantly lighter I can tell when I pick them both up uh, great board if you're looking for a downhill board or you've been looking at this and couldn't really find a lot on it. It's a great board. No problems whatsoever with it. Uh, durability is great. I've, I've, only fall, I've only curbed it once um, and it didn't, you know, de didn't crack any plies or anything. Just took a small chunk out of the tail. Um, personally, this is probably my favorite board so far. It's, it's great. Uh, hoping that this video is pretty informative for uh, people who are looking at the board. Uh, there's, I've noticed there's not really many videos on it. Um, 
Hope this helped a ton. Uh, yeah. Gnarly.